Welcome to the SIMED micro channel. When, in the spring, Canada geese are returning from the south to the north, high in the air in V formation, they are the merrily honking harbingers of the spring and summer. In the fall, when they fly back, winter soon follows. In the meantime, they are breeding at many large bodies of water, including the Ottawa River in Ottawa. Walking one summer along its banks, I noticed amazing rock formations balanced on the top of each other in an area of shallow water. I greeted the artist and noticed that he had a lot of helpers. Whom? He wondered. The geese, the ducks, the waterfall, I explained jokingly. He shook his head and told me that he has just recovered from a two-week diarrhea which he contracted from the river water when it accidentally got into his mouth. Now he was 15 pounds lighter than a month ago and still weak. That was amazing. I was doing a scientific paper on microscopy and hygiene for InFocus magazine in Britain. I collected some river water, some goose poop, correctly called droppings, and photographed it all around. The geese stay on the water, then fly to green pastures, eat grass, digest it and spread the droppings on the grass, on the sidewalks and also in the water when they come back. The cigars left by the geese in the grass and on the sidewalks are full of bacteria like any animal and human excrements. They help the geese to digest their food. The bacteria look different from ours, and so do the respective excrements. Goose cigars are partly white and partly green. The bacteria in the white part are mostly straight, rod-shaped bacilli, shown here in grayscale, at an increasing magnification of micrographs as they come out from the scanning electron microscope. On closer examination, there are also other bacteria in the goose poop, such as Campylobacter jejuni and various pyrochetes, characteristic of poultry droppings. These twisting bacteria are known to cause gastrointestinal illness, as the rock artist had experienced. If you walk over goose droppings, do yourself a favor and clean in your shoes and wash your hands unless you wish to stay at home with severe diarrhea. Do it after any contact with fecal material, any poop, including your own, although, when colored, the goose poop bacteria may look even nice. At a low magnification, interesting images may be seen in the green part of the goose poop. The grass appears almost intact, only slightly digested. The geese are actually live, walking, floating and flying fertilizer spreaders. Pity that the fertilizer comes with bacteria harmful to us, although not everybody considers them as a health risk. Now the answer comes to the question, who eats the poop? We have already seen the tiny eaters, the bacteria. However, the high contents of undigested grass make the goose poop appealing to the small Svalbard reindeer on Spitsbergen, the largest island in the Norwegian Svalbard archipelago, where there is very little vegetation. The reindeer eat the goose poop to survive. For us, to stay in good health, it is better to avoid contact with any poop. Goodbye, Canada geese, and please fly farther north next spring.